Hello guys, I am Mohaz. I am a full stack web developer. I will be today showing how to deploy our site, our Moen site actually, uh, through two websites. Okay, I mean in the sense we will be using render for the backend and Netlify for the frontend deploy. Okay, so I will just uh, step into that and show the procedure how we are going to do that. So first of all, uh, you need to make sure, let me open the project. This I have created the main project is my uh, React CRUD. Okay, so I'm going to this is just a demo project by the way. I'll be uploading. I mean, I'm trying to deploy this project. So, the in you have to make sure that this one is our uh, server side and this one is a front end, it's our client side, obvious things. So, first thing you have to make sure that you have to add in a back end file JSON package.json. You have to add a script. Okay, one more script. Uh, this one is for no demo most of the time it will be automatically added by but in in case if it's not added then you can add like this uh, which is a build script okay you need to build those things right so for that uh, it's simple npm i right? you can you can give anything your npm i or npm install both things are correct okay so after this you have to check whether the everything is updated in our uh, github or not or uh, if you don't know what is github and all uh, let just let me know in the comment i'll create a separate video for git this git bash and github everything uh, what are the commands we have to use uh, to upload our uh, folders to the github okay how to create repositories and everything so anyways uh, i'll be just checking whether the what and all i have just now added this new line right so you can see this uh, new it is it will be letting you know that uh, whether the whether there is any kind of updates you have made since after the recent you push recent push okay so to check the uh, with status of the github whether it is updated or not you need to give uh, git up, uh, status okay okay so there are a bunch of files here uh, we need to push that anyways i'll push everything all at once you can give like a git add and you can specify this file folder by folder if you want to commit uh, by giving particular message you can do like that also or you can just if you want to push everything all at once you can use a dot or a maybe a hash or caps a so you can do anything like that also i be preferring on dot a or dot okay so now everything got added so after that i have to commit this one git commit iphone and i'll be give message okay so now i have committed everything and make sure you are uh hiding this node modules okay through dot env files sorry not dot env dot ignore uh because what happens is this node modules is such such a large file it will take a time to upload to our git repository and moreover it is a time or space consuming also so while deploying it will be an issue it has to check everything no so it's better if you are just hiding those files using this dot you have nothing to do you have to just create this dot ignore file and you have to name those folders or files which you don't want to uh, add include in your github okay so anyways uh, i'll just push now <coughs> okay so the data has been pushed right now i'll just uh open my github and i'll show you you can see this is the latest one one minute ago okay so anyways i'll just go to close this one i have to first i'll be uh, deploying my backend server okay using render.com you can see it's a render.com i'll be providing the links in description also you can just check over that after that you have to sign in uh, it's already signed in my case so if it's not signed in you can just uh, sign in it's a simple one you can sign in the login through either uh, either using a github or you, you can use your uh, gmail address also anything is fine i'm using here my github only so that it, it will be easy to access for me to access the repositories okay so after that uh, there are a bunch of options here uh, the static site in the sense if you are uploading only one pages or not uh, this is benefit for that and if you want to upload a whole server database things then you have to use this web service so i'll just go here and uh, here you can see that it is uh, there is a uh, since i have logged in through uh, gmail uh, sorry github it is already showing here 
so if you if you don't find any data here you can just take here and you go to here your git repositories and open this thing you can just copy this thing over over here okay now you have to give any name here so you can give any kind of name i'll be giving here uh, react crud only okay so then after that uh, you can uh, specif uh, specify the which branch you are using for example i'm i'm using in a main branch here so if there is if you are using any if your folders are present inside any other uh, branches then you can specify that thing or else since i'm using this one in the main you can uh, tell like that only then in the root directory in the sense uh, which one uh, which folders you want to uh, deploy so in this case i'm i want to deploy backend right so i have to type that name here backend okay so environment uh, default it will be in a node if you are using any other things like python or go you can select those things also then the build command uh, if you are using npm in my case i'm using npm here okay in my case i'm using npm so if you are using yarn you can add, it is a default yarn only you can add yarn or npm whatever it is okay uh, so you have to give the command also by the way then you have to uh, give this uh, command which you will be uh, which is providing you to start the server so you can just go to the package.json you can see which one you have provided here in my case it is a dev so i'll just give that same thing over here the npm run dev okay so after that after it's getting builded so you have to select the free if you want to if you have my if you want to just check a free trial you can use this free ones okay so after that in the advance if there is any kind of environment variables and all for example i'm using here few things like my mongodb server cluster links and jwt secret codes key id or many things are there right here so i have to upload everything so i'll take this one by to just add the file so the for the security for extra care you can just add that one here only dot in while well, uploading the file also here like and publish everything copy paste all at once so it will take from here only then these are the health checks and auto deploy keep it yes in the default so that whenever you are committing uh, new changes it will be deployed automatically okay so if you want to ignore the path in specific if you forgot to push that uh, add that inside your node modules then you can add here also okay so now i'll just create web service Uh, and another thing it might take few times okay it will take few minutes uh, since it has to check build the run the api and everything you can see the process here what and all is happening okay so it's in progress by the way meanwhile i'll just uh, don't i won't waste the time and just go to a uh, front end deployment section okay so for the deployment of front end we'll be using netlify can just use call this netlify.com uh, i'll be uh, providing the link of this one also you have to sign up here then, okay after signing up uh, they will be asking some okay so i have been redirected to login page directly on the dashboard anyways uh, so let me check the process what happened okay going on anyways so after coming here uh, you have to just go here and add new site import from existing project in the sense if you are uh coming from starting you have to add from project here then using your github you can go here and you have to authenticate i have authorized already i have given permission for this netlify so i wasn't asked to for permissions and all so after that you can just uh, i have already for example i'll show you earlier only you have to give the password here okay so just scroll down and you can either give all repositories for the security reasons i'm giving only only selected repositories and from here i'm specifying which is that um, um 
repository i want to upload that one will be shown here okay so i have already uh, uploaded that one so i'll just close this one here it will be showed here once you're uploading okay so once if it's uploading then you will it will be asking you to add new owner name or branch everything so like we did here it is the same thing like that only so yeah this one is working here yeah okay so you can see now the server is running and mongodb is connected okay so the connection is successful and it is waiting to deploy uh, completely so you will get a message here until then you look into here okay so coming here uh, now you have to add the base directory in the sense uh, folder name in this case we are having a front end right so you have to give this front end then build command so it will be when you're clicking on that automatically it will be showing you or if you want to add in a ER, then you can just change that thing over there only. Okay. So, anyways, after that, uh, just you need to give the deploy. Oh, by the way, if you have any kind of uh, environment variables like we did here, you have to add there. Uh, since I don't have any, uh, I just started to uh, deploy directly. So you can see the logs here. If there is any errors or if there is coming any kind of error, it will show. So just wait for a while. okay so you can see that it's live by the way uh, maybe the server is getting restarted so just wait for a while okay so after this now you can see that our front end is also deployed it's showing here message also like completed everything you can see the option here preview okay so just open that one okay so you can see the front end part is also working right now so after this we will just go to this our render and we will see whether it is our backend is also uploaded or not okay no error we are fine so and it is showing a live also option here so in order to access this one just go to this paste here link okay so this one is a default route because there is no such route no so to sort to check that you just need to go back here and just close everything go to router and select one of the get api from here okay i'll just open this one copy and i'll just paste here whether it will to check whether it is working or not okay so you can see the data are getting fetched from our database also all the data are being showed here okay so now just check whether it is showing in here also uh, we'll go for proceed proceed and i'll just give my stuffs here okay uh, so you can see the databases are showing everything is working fine here you can add employee edit anyone delete yeah everything is working fine right now yeah and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you're having any kind of doubts furthermore so you can just ping me in through the mail or let me know in comment section uh if you want any kind of other videos just uh, inform me there also uh, regarding that one i'll be happy to help you and share with your friends if they are also having any kind of issues regarding this one okay so yeah until then bye